So um, what are the, um, the, the main issues uh, driving change across the global telecoms landscape for you? Um, as we um, talk to customers all over the world, the top three things that um, we are hearing in the telecom landscape is one, is a continuous pressure on the top line revenues. Um, the traditional revenues of voice and data are under tremendous pressure. Uh, so there's a need for new profitable revenue streams. So that's one key uh, issue that every operator is thinking on. How can they keep replacing the losing revenue with value-added services with uh, profitable revenues? The second thing that we are finding is there's a huge amount of pressure on taking internal costs out because the total cost of running an operations, I mean, any operator, is spending close to 60 to 70 percent in running what they have rather than innovating new offerings. So that's the second uh, big issue that we see. And then the third issue that we are seeing is uh, across the world is in terms of competition coming from the non-traditional players. Uh, folks are not necessarily telecom companies, but are now are providing services directly to the consumers or businesses. Which new business models are showing the greatest promise? And who in the telecoms value chain will be best positioned to reap the benefits? Well, there are many, many different business models we are seeing. Um, you know, and there isn't, I wouldn't say there's a killer business model that's out there. Um, is one of the things that we are seeing is smart bundling. Instead of just doing unlimited everything, bundling appropriately. Certain things should be unlimited, certain things should be uh, really charged as a premium. So we are seeing operators do very smart bundling and also enabling the customers to pick and choose and create their bundle. So that's, that's a you know, pretty innovative thing that we are seeing. The other uh, business model we are seeing is the quality of service. How do you charge for a premium for a quality of service rather than one size fits all? So quality of service is another uh, key differentiator that we are seeing. The third business model, which is very exciting that we're finding everywhere, is operators are really beginning to tap into innovation happening in the ecosystem, not within their own company, but also how do they tap into innovation and let others build applications on their networks. So those are some of the new business models we are seeing. And then to your question about the value chain, here's a very interesting thing going on. Um, the telecom operators, their position in the value chain is changing. So, you know, so they have to really look at their supply chain and say, what parts of our supply chain should we do it ourselves or should we just go from standard products? So that is a key differentiator we are seeing in the need for this value chain. Instead of building it all themselves, focusing on their core competency. You know, their core competency is customer service, network reliability, and product innovation. So one of the things that we are finding is as they're looking at their supply chain and value chain, they're saying, I need to rely on the mature IT industry, for example, to provide more complete solutions. So that's one of the things that we are seeing in the market. Okay. And finally, moving on to talk specifically about the conference that's been taking place here over the last couple of days. Why is it that you chose specifically to become involved with the FT World Telecoms Conference? Um, you know, this is my third year at Financial Times. Um, extremely happy about it. Um, I mean, they're two very large brands. Financial Times is a global brand, um, and we as Oracle are a global brand, so we like to team up with uh, you know, winners. Uh, also, for me, what is helpful is this is one of the rare forums where it's very targeted at CXOs. You hear about industry issues, you hear about whether it's regulatory, or market dynamics. So you're hearing from the top of the companies, and that gives Oracle um, a chance to listen, to hear what the industry is thinking about at the senior board level and CEO level, and also share with them what we are doing. Because this industry is transforming, and Oracle is leading a charge in transforming it. So an event like Financial Times, we really like uh, participating in it, and it's been very productive for us. That's Th fantastic. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Basco.